Sarah Quinlan here from Tipperary ETV. Today we're going to make a garden stone craft and we're designing an old Irish thatch cottage. So what you need is a river stone or any old stone you find around your garden. I have quite a large one here. And you need a variety of paints. You can use emulsions or acrylics. So the colours you need are white, blue, yellow, red and brown for your roof okay if you don't have a brown you can use the three primary colors blue yellow and red to mix a brown all right i also use a paper plate to put my stone on and um, just so i can move it around and turn it without getting destroyed and paint myself a brush and a piece of card just the corner of a box and i will show you what that's used for in a while okay The first thing we need to do is put an undercoat of white on our stone. So it's just a white acrylic or a white emulsion, either or will do fine. I would cover the front and the back of the stone. For the next part you want to use a very thin brush and you want to give the effect of windows. So you're just going to paint two squares on your cottage. Like so. Now they don't have to be even because the old cottages weren't anyway, so. You can also use a black marker to put on these details if you wish. We're going to buy the red door. which will just brighten up the front of everything. Just a little red right rectangle. And you can give that a second coat again in a few minutes. We're just, so we're just using a tiny bit of yellow just at the very edges. And you can put a handle on your door. I just always use the back of the brush dipped in some paint like this and you just dab it on for a doorknob. Just like that, okay? And I'll show you how to use it now. We just want to give the effect of blades of grass. So the very edge of your card, deep it in to your green paint, okay? And you're just going to apply it as such down the edge. It's just easier than making grass marks with brushes and it actually gives a better effect anyway. And you can just drag it up along like this to give a more grassy effect. You do that the whole way across the bottom. And if the side of your stone will be visible, you can do it there as well. And I'm just dipping the back of that brush into the blue paint, just like so. And I'm going to just add a few dabs of that here and there just to give the effect of blue flowers here and there. And if you want, then you can add maybe some yellow flowers to pick up the yellow that's in the windows. Again, the back of the brush, yellow across as well. And if you had other colors, like maybe purples or anything, you don't need to put in any details on these flowers. So to preserve your cottage, you can use some varnish. If you want to put it outside, I would usually use two coats of yacht varnish because that's a brilliant one for weather protecting. And you can leave that then out in your flower bed. And that's your stone cottage craft.